Hello again. This is episode four. Uh, I know that there are a few mechanics I still haven't covered. Commander, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, here's one. We just picked up a signal from an emergency locator beacon. It's definitely one of ours, from the original invasion. I know it sounds crazy, but if there's any chance some of our people could still be out there, I think we owe it to them to find out. So this is one of the DLC missions, Avenger plotting and it is a mission that gives me extra uh, weapons, and then it will unlock a mission later that it, ha it adds some extra enemies and it gives a little extra story. So I'm not going to build anything there yet, but I will clear out machinery. I think these are going to be the same either way. And I've got one engineer, so I'll put her there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we have enough supplies to build an advanced warfare center? No. We need 150. So we can't do that yet. I could check the recruits. There's no recruits available. I'm assuming it'll refresh eventually. So we're going to check that recovered cargo. Oh! Well, we're 115% infiltrated. The enemy readiness is vulnerable. And we have to start. Uh, this is a mission. We evacuate with a flare again. We have to hack a computer again. So this is pretty much the same mission as before, just in a different place. concealed and I'm gonna try harder this time to not be out of cover when I see my first enemy so I can show that mechanic uh, let's see that's a window no that's not that's a poster uh, there's a door let's do this let's just go there we don't see any advent yet let's go there oh I should probably explain the advent our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. The advent are basically the aliens setting up a civilian, uh, like a police force that controls all the people within the cities that advent or the aliens control. So the advent are, if you've played Half-Life 2, the advent are basically the combine. Uh, there is a little bit of story later on that explains more about how the advent got there, but I'm not going to spoil that just yet. Okay. Move it out. So in the tutorial, there's a cutscene where, uh, well, basically all the cutscenes in the tutorial are basically the XCOM operatives pissing off the advent. On generally location. being mean to them. Enemy on the move. Well, there's some enemies, and they do not see me yet. So that's good. So I can shoot them, but I'm not going to, because I want to make sure that all of my soldiers have a clear shot before I get out of cover. Or before I get out of concealment, rather. Got it moving. So I'll start moving soldiers up on the roof. because I don't think I'm going to get very many of them able to shoot from inside the building. Got it covered. Oh, is that going to reveal? Hostile targets oh, no, inside. he saw more people. Okay. Where can I go? Can we shoot from there? No, probably not. That's even too far away. That can see them. Okay. I could try going there. I'm all over it. Okay. I don't really want to start on this turn. 
because I've already moved several people and they can't attack right now. Uh, oh, we can hit him from there. So let's go to that corner and then we'll overwatch, which because we're concealed will only trigger if the enemy moves while we're revealed. Okay, they're moving. I think we'll still be able to shoot at them. They're opening the door, okay. Well, that one's definitely gonna get shot inside. Uh, okay. So let's keep moving people closer to a place where we can attack enemies. All of these cover spots are revealed and I can't move this character right now. So I'm going to have to break concealment on this turn or they will break it for me. Okay. I could go there. I don't know if that's revealing me. Nope, it did not. But also I don't have any ability to attack from there. I'm just gonna put as many people as I can on Overwatch and then start the combat. Oh, I've actually got one more person I can move. Okay. Let's go there. Okay. So that's everybody. Now I can either shoot, which has 91%, or I could throw a flashbang or a grenade. I'm gonna shoot, because 91% is pretty good. There we go. So now we're revealed. Or in a few seconds. There we go. Now we're revealed. And because of that, all of the enemies are going to move. And moving triggers Overwatch. So that sectoid is dead. And the Advent Trooper is dead. But they still have the Engineer and all those soldiers that were way over there. So the Engineer is moving. The Engineer can attack me because he was revealed on... Or he was already revealed. Uh, can I shoot from there? Yes, but that is too far. I could go there, but I don't know if there are any enemies over here. So I'm going to try down here. On the move! That should be... Well, it's a shot. It's not a very good shot. Uh, this character can run over there. And I could actually stop there. So I'm going to try running gun. So first thing I'm going to do is run to the edge of the blue area here. Because that means I can grab the loot. And now that I've run to the edge of the blue area, I'm going to run over here. Now that does put me in a flanked position, but more importantly, it puts the enemy in a flanked position. Now that I'm close to the laptop that I'm gonna hack, I do have to be careful not to damage the laptop, because if I destroy the laptop, then the whole mission's failed. And even if I get all my troops out, I still fail the mission. So I'm gonna shoot the engineer. I am this close, so I have basically it is guaranteed to hit. Okay, and it was also critical. And I believe that was the sound effect for loot dropping. Yep. And he's already in the area, so he gets the loot. We got a data pad, which we can investigate for uh, some intel, which is one of the currencies. Intel and supplies are the two currencies. Okay. So these are all behind cover. They've all got pretty good cover as well. So I'm gonna try throwing a frag grenade at this one. Grenade! There are some upgrades in uh, Long War II that let you destroy cover. In XCOM 2 without Long War II, you can usually destroy cover with any grenade. Well, any damaging grenade, that is. So now they get to shoot at us. And because that was half cover, uh, it was easier to hit him. Advent officers have an ability called Mark which means that they will try to shoot at the mark target and they will have like an aim bonus against them. But being behind full cover is probably gonna protect enough. That was an overwatch. So if anybody moves within that character's line of sight, they will get 
attack, not necessarily hit. Evac! We need a that was a panic. In Long War II, panic always means that they will hide. It doesn't mean that they will go try to shoot someone at a bad angle or something like it does in normal XCOM. I'm gonna keep moving ahead. So that's 23%. That's not good. I could throw a frag grenade, but it won't reach. Flamethrower also would not reach. I could move up. That's probably my best bet right now. Or I could shoot a rocket. I don't think it's going to be a good idea, though, because that is very inaccurate at that range. So I'm going to keep moving forward. And that does trigger the Overwatch. And that took one of the two shield points away. Okay. But that does mean that this character can now move more safely because the Overwatch is already used up. Uh, I could do that. That's probably a bad idea. Okay. I could go here. That is half cover still, but it is closer to the enemies. That's 40%. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I could throw a flashbang in there. I'm going to hit two people if I go there. I don't think I can hit multiple people with that one. So I'm going to throw a flashbang. That disorients them, which means they can't move as far, and they also can't use as many of their abilities, and they have, like, a lot reduced aim. So I could pick up the sectoid, but I'm not going to, because I don't need that right now and it would mean that my soldier can't do anything while they're holding the sectoid. Okay, so that's 0% to hit with the shot, sawed-off shotgun. I could try to shoot him. Uh, I'm gonna flashbang them. This one's gonna be bright. Because that means the sectoid is not able to, I, at least I think, it means the sectoid is not able to use any of its mind control ability. And it also means the sectoid uh, is a lot worse at aiming if it were to try to shoot with its gun on its arm. Okay, here comes the engineer. Engineer also has flashbangs. I believe he's going to use one now. Yep, there he goes. So that disoriented two of my soldiers. But those two enemy soldiers are still disoriented, so they are probably not going to be able to hit anyone. And that sectoid is also disoriented. So these two soldiers I can't attack with. The panic did end, but that that enemy is uh, overwatching, which means that he will attack us. However, as long as I'm careful about this, I think I can throw a grenade and hit multiple of the enemies. No, I can't. I could throw it there, or I could throw it there, but I couldn't hit this guy. So let's see. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Yep, didn't mean to do that. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's shoot with this guy. Can he hit the... Yes, he... Well, he hopefully can. Let's see if he can hit... Yeah, he can hit with the stun better. So, the stun is probably going to be my best bet. Although... Shotguns are pretty good at close range. Let's see, actually. If I put him here, he would have a clearer shot. But he would be basically out of cover. What can I do? I guess I could shoot the engineer. Try the engineer. That did two damage, and I think it also reduced his cover to half cover. I'm not sure. I think that did reduce the cover from this side to half cover. Uh, the sectoid can't really do anything while it's disoriented. So I'm going to move closer to it. Oh, that is the overwatch. That did go through the armor, so that is going to cause this character to be wounded after the mission. Not good. 
Okay. Can I shoot? Maybe. Not really. Uh, we can go here. That's cover. And we could bring this character up. Hopefully they will be able to become normal. Okay. The sectoid has disorientation removed. I think both of the soldiers did too. So now we're in danger. They can actually hit us now. And they're going to use another flashbang. I think that only hit one of my characters though. Okay, here they go. They're going to move out. They're marking. Okay. This character is still in full cover, though, so it might not hit. Yep, it did not hit. Taking heavy fire. That also missed. They're all over me. Okay. So the sectoid is trying to find better cover, and they did. And now they they did attack. And they removed that one last piece of armor. Okay, okay disorientation removed. That's good. Because I can go here. And now I can shoot the sectoid. Let's actually go with the point blank. What would this do? Both barrels. Double damage. Hmm. Yeah, let's try double damage. Because it's pretty much guaranteed to kill it, I think. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Okay, so that used up the whole shotgun, but who cares. Uh, let's put this character in Overwatch, just because they're not going to have an easy time attacking. Uh, there is no Overwatch on the enemy side right now. So I could try to go here. Let's do that. I'm already in half cover. There we go. So we killed that, sol uh, that trooper. Actually, was that a sentry? I'm not sure. Target yeah, it was a trooper. Eliminated. It was a trooper. Negative ammo. Okay. So this character's disoriented. Uh, I could put them on the roof, but I don't think that's good use of their time right now. I could try shooting. That's probably also not a good use. Uh, let's reload, because that uses one action point. And then overwatch, because that ends the turn. Uh, Advent officer... Yeah, that is half cover now. Uh, I could bring this character here. It's still in full cover. There's no characters over here to flank them. And they do have a clear shot to both of those. So that does flank that guy, I think. No, it does not. Okay. They're overwatching, that one marked, and then they reloaded. Oh, and they're also gonna shoot. Okay, but they missed. Okay, so that character's overwatching, which means I can't move anybody close to them. Uh, let's see. Can I hit them? 38%? That's probably not good enough. There is another mechanic that will help us here, and that is that if you move to the yellow zone on one turn, instead of going to the blue and then the yellow, uh, there is a much lower chance that an overwatch shot will be able to hit. So I'm going to try that now. It worked. So now, I should be able, because they already used up their overwatch, uh, that is not going to be a good shot. Uh, where could I go? I could go here as long as I'm able, oh, what am I talking about? I could use the flamethrower. That would probably hit my soldier, but that wouldn't. Let's try the flamethrower. Time to burn! Okay. I need to reload on this turn, because I don't have any ammo in the gun. I'm ready. And I could try shooting, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to probably move back to my old cover. Moving to position. Okay, so now that that enemy's on fire, uh, let's move over here. 
because then we might be able to flank on the next turn. I think that is a flank, actually. And we'll keep moving in. I'm on it. And I think this might be a good time to overwatch on this character. Yeah, because we're we're probably going to end up with that character, that uh, officer dying of burning anyway. Okay, there's the overwatch kicking in. And they did take three damage, and that was enough to kill them. Possible target down. Possible intel located. Okay, the officer is burning. And they, for some reason, used the move ability twice, but in a very short distance. Over here... Oh, wait. I can only hack from this side of the counter. Okay, so I'm going to go over to this. Now I can hack. And because this is a required hack, it's guaranteed that I get the thing on the left and there's basically no chance to get the stuff on the right. Yeah. So, that's the objective completed. And now I'm going to evacuate. So, I will push the call Sky Ranger button. I need an evac. We'll call for evacuation. That'll come on the next turn. I think. Uh, we can bring that officer back with us, but we could also shoot that officer. So I'm going to wait until I see if I get the officer killed. That might work. I don't think it's worth trying. Uh, let's move here. On your order. Because then we can get the loot. We got a hair trigger. I have the asset. And we can shoot the officer. Hmm. I'm actually going to use the med kit. Actually, no. I will overwatch. Because the officer's probably going to try to move. And I'll overwatch here, too. Overwatch. And I'll overwatch here. Overwatching all around. Oh, he just died. He burned to death. That's fine. I'm not going to be able to grab that corpse because it's in a big fire. But the evacuation zone is here. So, let's see if I can grab any s enemy soldiers on the same turn. That'll work. Can I grab anyone from there? Probably not. Can I grab anyone there? Probably not. This person can... Uh, obesely morbid can grab. Okay. Don't know if that's actually close enough. But there aren't any enemies, so I might as well try. Okay. I've got the package. So let's start moving people out. Affirmative. So that's one person took one damage, I believe, on this mission because damage to the armor does not count as wounding. On your order. Ready to boogie. On the move. Just in time. Can I grab anyone? Oh, the fire's gone. But I won't be able to get to the evacuation zone on the same turn, I don't think. Can I grab a sectoid? I could grab that sectoid, but I think that would be, that would be the same problem. So I'm just going to evacuate. I don't want to risk there being another enemy. Okay, here we go. So that's everyone. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished.
expect the best, and that's what you've shown me, Commander. Well done. I'm probably going to go with Revival Protocol for this, just because it's so overpowered to be able to get unconscious off of somebody. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm probably also going to go with Sapper on most of my Grenadiers, just because destroying cover is so great at getting people able to flank other soldiers. Uh, rockets being more accurate might be useful. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll go with rockets being more accurate. Lightning reflexes is great, because that means that enemies can't hit this person with... That. Well, it's a lot harder to hit them with reaction shots. So if somebody's overwatching, I can basically run past them and they won't be able to hit. And ever vigilant is the opposite of that. Ever vigilant means that if I move to the yellow zone during my turn, like I spend both of my action points on moving, then I automatically also go into overwatch. And there's uh, another trait on the next level of ranger that means that not only do I go to Overwatch, but I also am able to shoot enemies, not only that they move, but also enemies that try to shoot at my soldiers. Wow. Okay. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth So I'm going to finish recovering this locator beacon. You and I both know we only had one other sky. It's worse for wear, but this heap used to be Big Sky's pride and joy. And someone's been putting her to work. It may be possible to triangulate exactly where they took off from, but it'll take some time. Command, these, these weapons, weapons are, are unlike, unlike any design, design I have previously encountered before. I could, I could attempt, attempt further analysis, but the likelihood of us reverse engineering them appears low regardless. Remember what Tygen said. These new weapons are one of a kind. If we leave them on the battlefield, they'll be lost to us forever. So these weapons are pretty good. I don't think I've ever used the frost bomb, but the bolt caster especially is great because it means that uh, you've done a hell of a job keeping this. Even though you can only shoot once hot. before you have to reload. I know the aliens aren't happy about losing one of their own. I doubt they thought anyone could get this heap airborne again. I'm more than happy to prove them wrong. Uh, you have to sh reload every time you shoot, basically, but the shots are much more accurate, and they are also much more damaging. So we've got our soldiers training. Uh, I think we'll just end it for now. Okay, see you next time. Actually...